Have you all noticed that it's always sunny in the garden? Except for at night, of course, because it's dark and the sun is somewhere else. I'd like to know exactly where it is. Because if it's not here, that must mean it's somewhere else, right? Have you ever thought about it? Uh, I know what you're thinking. That I should go look it up in some book, because books can explain almost everything. I once looked it up in a book. Right, Olga? You can find stuff on almost anything you ask. Of course, you can't find a cake recipe in a history book because you wouldn't find it. But if you look in a recipe book, you'll surely be able to find one, right? Huh? Right, Olga? Well, yes, Rita. Sorry, but I'm doing my homework and I don't want to break my concentration. Well, that's not a problem. I'm only saying that... 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 What was I saying, Olga? Rita! Shh. No, uh, Rita. I don't have time to talk right now. this morning, Moo Moo. Want me to help you out? All right. Chairs are a great invention. Imagine if they didn't exist. We would have to sit on the floor and it's comfortable, but sometimes you just want to sit in a chair. There are chairs of all different colors and styles. There are plastic ones with armrests, without armrests, white ones, green ones, blue, yellow, purple ones. Actually, you can find them in every color. They're also made of wood. All kinds of wood. Almost all done. Just as soon as I'm finished, I'm going to take an hour-long nap. I wonder what Rita is talking about. I'm going to tell her to quit blabbing and start sweeping the floor. I know that, Moo Moo. You don't even have to answer. You and I understand each other with just one look. I know what you're thinking. It's not that I'm a fortune teller or anything like that. It's just that I understand perfectly and... I'm tired. I'm going to go take a nap now. Perfect. It's really good to rest. I'm tired and need a nap, too. Well, it's not from helping me. Of course. Huh? What are you saying, Moo Moo? I don't help? Moo Moo? Alfred! 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 Are you sleeping? <laughs> What? What happened? <laughs> what is it? What's up? Nothing. Momo sleeping, Milo and Olga are doing homework, so I came to see you. Well, before you woke me up, I was sleeping. Oh, well, it was time you got up, because you have to make the most of every day. Rita, you talk so much, you'd even talk to a stone. That's not true. I just like to share my thoughts with my friends and hear what they have to say about it. I get it. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh, sure, I even talk to the rocks now. Can you believe they're saying that? I do not talk too much. It's not fair. I talk a normal amount. Do they want me to just be quiet and not say a word? I don't talk to rocks, or do I? Oh. Okay, so Alfred was right. I tried talking to the rocks, but they don't answer me, and that's really boring. I think I'm going to do some homework. I'm going to show them that I'm capable of being quiet. I won't make a sound. I'm not going to utter a single word. I'll just sit quietly next to Milo and Olga and do my homework in silence. They won't even notice that I'm sitting right next to them. Do you think that's a good idea, Talalo? Talalo? Do you feel like going for a swim in the lake, Milo? Okay. Quiet! Can't you 
see I'm doing homework and I need to concentrate? Sorry, Rita. We're leaving now. Yeah, sorry. How inconsiderate. By the way, Olga and Milo, are you... Olga? Milo? This pencil sure does write well. There are also colored pencils that I like very sharp. Rita, you are truly hopeless. I'm going to the lake. When you finish your homework and talking to that pencil, come on over for a dip with us. Although I'm sure you'll still be talking even underwater. What do you mean talking underwater? What do you mean talking to a pencil? Pencils don't answer. Do you, pencil? Do you? Now I'm talking to a pencil. Is it possible to talk underwater? I'm starting to scare myself. I think I better finish my homework and it keep quiet for a while. Mrs. Skunk. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, good company. Yeah, I could spend hours here not doing a single thing. Oh, the fragrance of flowers, the freshly cut grass. Oh, this field is so relaxing. Yeah, it smells like a sea of flowers. It smells like strawberries, like lemons. Well, I smell... <clears throat> I smell... <clears throat> something stinky. Rita, why do you say that? Don't act so innocent. You could have told me about it sooner. Told you what? Come on, Moo Moo. We're the only ones here. It was smelling nice, and suddenly a stink bomb goes off. It's clear that you have let out some stinky air. Ugh! It does smell bad, but I didn't do it. Not only are you stinky, but you're also a liar. Rita, it wasn't me. So it's clear that the one who let out a stinky smell had to be you. Enough with the talk. It's smelling worse and worse, and it's becoming unbearable. Hello, good morning. Mrs. Skunk, excuse me, but are you the one who smells so bad? Well, pardon me, yes. Yes, it is me. I just can't help it. You could take a shower every morning. It wouldn't matter. I always smell like this. Well, I'm leaving. It smells awful. Yeah, me too. See you later. But it's not my fault. My whole life, everyone around me runs away and I don't have any friends. I have a terrible cold. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Skug. How are you? Beautiful day, isn't it? <sighs> I'm a little sad. You see, everyone runs away from me because of my smell. Well, you don't have to worry about me because I've got such a bad cold, my nose is all stuffed up. And I can't smell a thing, so we can go and play. You want to play with me? I've never played ball. Well, today's your lucky day. I will be right back with the ball. Hi, Boo Boo. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Milo. Do you know where the ball is? Yes, it's on the other side of the balcony. Who's he going to go play ball with? I don't know. Who are you going to play ball with? With Mrs. Skunk. But you can't. She smells bad. Yes, really foul smelling. She stinks. I know that. But since I got such a bad cold that can't smell anything, I'm going to go play with her. Yeah, but then later, you and the ball will smell bad too. When will you ever grow up, Moo Moo? But I'm just as tall as he is.
He's talking about you being more mature and not such a child. Hmm, I want to go play ball too. That was a really great throw. You haven't seen a thing. Look how many times I can bounce the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're really good at bouncing the ball, Mrs. Skug. I want to play with the ball, too. Yeah, but I don't think I can handle this smell. It smells awful. He's lucky that since he has a cold, he can't tell how bad Mrs. Skunk really smells. There is a way that we can all go play with the ball. There is no way I can handle that awful smell again. This is what we'll do. If we put clothespins on our noses, we won't be able to smell a thing. And that way we could play with Milo and Mrs. Skunk. What a great idea, Alfred! Uh-huh. But doesn't it hurt a lot to put something on your nose? Mine's really sensitive. You need to decide if you want to stay here all by yourself or come with us and play ball. Come on, Rita, I'll put your clothespin on. All right. Ouch! That really hurts! Now I'll put one on you, Boo-Boo. Ouch! Yes, it does hurt. <laughs> what one has to do to play ball. Everyone got their clothespins? Hey there, friends. I see that you have changed your minds. Can we play with you guys? That would be up to Mrs. Skunk to decide. Well, of course you can. Everybody, come and play. Milo, thank you for playing with me. You have made me really happy. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>